expedition is hard for us, for everybody, because it's too long. Everything gets broken, not just the boat, uh, us. Uh, you know, relationships start to change. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a holiday. I would call it a big dust flapped around. You can see, it's tore off completely. What are we risking in this area? A life, mostly. Yeah, no, it's too dangerous. After months of harsh weather, equipment failure, and scenes like this. The base of the hole just cracked. Ben Lecomte's historic world record attempt has come to a halt. But the mission still continues. Ben is more determined than ever to bring attention to the state of our world's oceans. I uh, remember since I'm a little boy working on the beach with my father, I never saw any plastic around. And the last uh, 50 years or so, the number of plastic that you find is uh, it's crazy. I think that it's my duty to try to do something to correct it so my children don't have to uh, inherit that problem. You may have heard that we know less about our own oceans than we do about the moon or even the surface of Mars. The vast majority of what we do know is limited to ecosystems close to shore. And that's because our oceans are massive, with dangers lurking at every turn. This expedition wasn't just a, a swim, it was also a citizen science expedition. And so far we've collected over 1,100 samples, and that includes samples on microplastic, microfibers, bigger piece of plastic too. And we also did water collection, and also on bands, on his microbiome, his DNA. Uh, and he's half to. This is a major victory for marine research, but just a baby step in the big picture of ocean exploration. Although the ocean has been difficult to explore and research, the swim is taking tiny steps with a team of scientists to investigate so many unknowns. There's a lot of plastic that still remain unknown and lost at sea, so it may be in the water column, it may be inside uh, the, uh, the stomach of different animals uh, in the ocean or even marine birds, for example, but we don't know where all the plastic is. We still don't know whether microfibers uh, accumulate in patches like microplastics do. They are so much smaller and with uh, so many different other uh, sources. And of course, the effect that it will have on us is way too early to decide on this. For the last 20 years, there's been a lot that we've learned about sharks, but there's still a lot that we don't know. For the species living in more remote areas, we don't know anything. When you record this animal on the wild, you get a lot of information of their social structure. This sum of recording is giving us a transect, a view of how dense the population are. This is completely unknown. Who knows what power these discoveries will hold? The ocean harbors clues to our evolutionary past and keys to our future, from clean energy to engineering secrets and the potential for promising new cures. But all of this could be lost if pollution continues at this rate. Everywhere, every day, we found plastic. Even now, I put my hand under water, I wait one minute, I put my hand up, and I already have fragments of microplastic. You try to extend that to the whole ocean, and it's just, ah, it's mind-blowing. I hope that the scientists will have a lot of samples to be able to study more and to learn more where this plastic comes from and how this plastic is threatening the health of our ocean and our health ultimately. If it's not enough for us to see that there are many species in the ocean being damaged, at least that we can be worried that we are being damaged too. For the swim crew, this expedition has been full of countless unforgettable moments and one steadfast mission. More and more people get inspired. We do something little by little. We are going to correct all the wrongdoing that we have done and hopefully pass a healthier ocean to our children. I think that's what we have done, even though it's a little crazy. And that's the reason why sometimes you need to do something that is out of the ordinary to get the attention. So you can hashtag during the swim to uh, give us all the uh, uh, changes that you may have done or you are planning on doing about uh, reducing your use of uh, plastic and being a better steward of the environment. 
Thank you guys for being here. Keep following us on seeker.com slash the swim, benlocom.com. We'll have much more to come for you. And uh, keep it up, guys. Thank you very much for accompanying us in this yeah. journey. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Be sure to visit seeker.com slash the swim to read daily updates from Ben LeCompte, track his progress in real time, and watch more videos about the science happening on board Seeker. Click here for this next episode, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.